welcome back to the madness. It is Monday, Monday. Oh, I got a cramp on my foot. Um, of course, it's my driving foot right in the arch. Um, almost like a Charlie horse. Not good, not good. So, anyways, what did I do this weekend? Well, I had a finish. Wasn't expecting to have a finish. Um, I had stitches from um, the week on my country sale September that I wanted to, you know, finish up and add because I took a picture <clears throat> and then during the week when I'm um, stitching at work, if I only get to put in 25 stitches, then I keep a tally on my phone. And so when I got home on Friday, I'm like, ooh, let me catch up those stitches, which I only got to stitch once and it was only for, I think it was 54 stitches. And I was like, you know what, let me just catch it up. And the next thing you know, I had all of the vegetables done. And half the chicken rooster. I think this one was a rooster. It had the red thing on the head. Um, I was like, I pulled up the pattern and I was like, cause I was, I didn't know what was on the bottom. I couldn't remember if it was a whole bunch. And the only thing on the bottom was the, it looked like wheat. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a finish tonight for sure. And it was like, <clears throat> not even... I don't even think it was six o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> so that's when that got finished. And then Saturday, oh, Saturday was so nice. I got to, and I remember the, the name. It's Pumpkin Colored Autumn, not Squirrel. <clears throat> I did 900 stitches on that Saturday and then 200 stitches on it yesterday because I just wanted to stitch what was left in the hoop or it wouldn't have even came back out um, Sunday which Sunday it was time change which shouldn't affect me because I went to bed so at around 7 o'clock, I think I had Becca go around and change all the clocks um, to spring forward. So I went to bed at my normal time, 10.30, and I actually didn't stay in my room. I didn't, um, what do I say? I fell asleep earlier than I usually do. Well, let's put it that way. I put my phone down. I right when I put my phone down. I'm out. Usually. Um. So. Um. And then I woke up at my normal time on a Sunday, which was 9:30. So I don't know why my body was like messed up because I kept my same schedule, you know? I went to bed technically an hour earlier, but yesterday I kind of like struggled. So I um, stayed in my chair because after I can't lay, I, so the last two nights too, I've slept in the bed which I really should have gotten up 
the first time that I turned over my back was killing me. Then I should move to the um, chair. And my arms were numb and, you know, so I really should have just got up and got to the chair. Because when I'm in the chair, my arms don't go numb. And my back doesn't hurt. But I just need to sleep on my tummy. <laughs> I'm not a back sleeper. So in the chair, all I'm doing is sleeping on my back, basically. Because my recliner, like, reclines. So, I sat in my, I laid in my chair. It's not sitting because I was laying in my chair. Watching YouTube and just playing on my phone until 12 o'clock. Then I got up, took my shower and um, did a load of laundry and then I was like oh shoot zoom so ran into zoom and then started working on the pumpkin color autumn and then all of a sudden I was just exhausted so, and John had just come home. Becca had just come home. They both went for naps. So, the house was very quiet. And I took a nap. And then I woke up, I think it was 7 o'clock. 6.30, 7 o'clock, something like that. Maybe 6 o'clock. But I felt very rested. And then John comes in. He's like, you had a good nap. I'm like, I did. He goes, you were out. He said, I turned on the light. I was doing things and you didn't even move. Like, I was exhausted and I don't know why. <sighs> yeah, so then after that, I organized all my stuff for my floss tube. I pulled out what I wanted to call my weekend stitching. So, when I get home, we're all set to do the floss tube and then to start stitching. Oh, yeah, it's. Oh, man. One more. I know it's going to be one more. It's always three. Okay. So that's about it. Oh my god, my windshield is so dirty. I hope I get some good things picked. But if I get to stitch at work, then I'm stitching on August, September cottage. It's one of those, I don't remember. It's probably August, because I just finished July. Well, I did July, then I skipped to uh, October, so it's probably August. Okay, guys, you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Hello! It is Monday, Monday. Okay, yes, I missed a whole week. Um, if you didn't see the community post, um, I get kidney stones. Yay! No yay. Oh, my God. I was dying so Sunday my back was hurting just a little bit I mean just teeny 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 so I thought okay I just pulled a muscle right so Monday I'm at work and I'm like well it's, it's a little more irritating but it, it's so it's okay Tuesday I wake up and I'm like in pain I go to work and I'm there for maybe, where am I going? What do you want me to do? It says it wants me to go this way. Um, and then I'm taking Romeo Plank. In two and a quarter miles, turn right on Romeo Plank Road. Why does this not feel right? 
but we will follow the instructions. Okay, yes, it does feel right. I was turned around until I got right here, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I'm going the wrong different direction. I thought I was over by the Burger King going towards 16, but I'm actually on 19 going towards the water is the best way I can explain it. Anywho, so I called John. I said, and it was busy. I'm like, I can't do this by myself. I'm in pain. I pulled something. I don't understand this. So he came in and I said, I don't care. Take all the funerals. You know I'm not good if I say take all the funerals. <laughs> take whatever. Because what was killing me was getting in and out of the car. So, I get back to the shop. We both meet there. Because I already did one run. So, I'm coming back. He's coming back to just start the day, right? So, it's like... 11.30 I want to say and I was like I came back we both came you know no he must have went and did a little bit and then came back too because it was more like 12 12.30 and I told him I said listen I'm taking all the Detroits and Gross Points he hates doing Detroits and Gross Points I'm taking those and then I'm going home I can't do this and then it just clicked I go it's kidney stones. He's like, where's where's your pain? And I showed him, he said, oh, yeah, that's kidney stones. I said, yeah, because I never have pain on my left side. It's always my right. The sciatic nerve, the shooting pain down my hip and my leg is always the right side. So for there to be pain on the left side, it's like, what is going on? This is not normal. So then I didn't stick. Oh, so Monday, I wasn't feeling the best, but I was still, I didn't know it was kidney stones that, you know, and they had just started. So, um, I worked on, I have notes of what I worked on. Oh, here they are. Okay. So Monday I worked on looness. Um, and I did 302 stitches, which I thought was really good for being in so much pain that I was in. So then Tuesday, I didn't stitch. Wednesday, there were 42 deliveries. I had to work. I was in so much pain. I couldn't stand it. But I did it. And when we got home... Of course, I did not stitch that night. And I told John, I said, I don't care what tomorrow looks like. I'm not coming in. I can't do this. And the thing that, I mean, I'm grateful that he did come in. But he should have said to me, I've got this. Because when he gets kidney stones, he has insurance. He goes to the hospital. The last time he had kidney stones, he was kept in the hospital for five days. I have no nothing. What I did find out though, I went to CVS and I found this miracle drug. It's AZO but it's the maximum something and you can only take it for two days straight. It's 12 pills and that's it. Take one half mile. Turn right on um, plane, TMI then enter the roundabout. You pee bright orange basically. It's iodine. But the first time it's like, whoa, what the hell? And then it's like, oh, I get it. I get it. That does not dissolve or do anything for the kidney stones itself. But there's a little bit of pain med in it. And so I dealt with the kidney stones from basically Sunday, Sunday night, but it didn't get painful until Monday night. I mean, I, I have a very high pain tolerance. So take the second exit to it didn't really like hurt me, hurt me until late Monday night. 
That's why I only got 300 stitches because it was like, no, I need to, I need to find a different way to sit or something. It was, it was torture. So, and then I finally was starting to feel relief. Saturday morning, it felt more like just cramps. You know, I can deal with cramps. I deal with cramps, you know, at that time of month. So, but the other one was like, um, I told my co-worker, I said, you know what? I would give birth without pain meds because I basically did it with my son because they put the epidural in wrong. From my knees down, I was numbed, but all the way up, I wasn't. As I told him, I'd rather give birth than deal with these kidney stones because at least with giving birth, I, I gave, I was in labor, I gave birth for, I was in labor for 37 hours, hard labor, 37 hours, no, I'm sorry, 28 hours, hard labor, 37 hours of labor, I started labor at work, and I was like, whoo, this hurts, but I kept, I worked for the last four hours of my shift with John. Me and John worked at the same place. <laughs> Different place, but same place. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, he was my boss, actually. <laughs> um, but he was like, I kept it from him from from I kept it from him for two hours. And then when I finally told him, I said, it's only two more hours. We can just do this. The funny thing is though. They talk about nesting. Uh, that's true because we worked the um, we worked sec second shift, so we went in at four and we got out at twelve. But that morning, and I was not a morning person. Not until this year, I haven't been a morning person. But that morning. I was wide awake at 9 o'clock in the morning and just cleaning and cleaning. And I told him, Johnny, can we just call in today and say that I'm in labor? That, I mean, it'll be false labor, but can we just say that I'm having contractions and I'm going to the hospital? And he was like, no, 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 it's too early for that. Jonathan was three and a half weeks early. That's why he's saying, no, no, it's too early for that. And come to find out that night, we were at the hospital having Jonathan. Well, started the process of having Jonathan. That boy, he did not want to come out, but he wanted to come out, but he didn't want to come out. So, okay, where am I going? So, I did it. I started something new, and I started Black Vintage. So, on... Thursday night I did 200 stitches and then on Friday I did 500 stitches. I still was not feeling a hundred percent on Friday because I went to back to work so it was in and out and in total so far I have passed three stones or maybe it was one big one that broke off. I don't know. I don't know. But Um, Friday, the last one was really moving and I was just in a lot of pain. So then Saturday, oh, then I made the community per post Saturday saying that, um, there was not going to be a vlog or was that Thursday? I, did I don't know. Um. But I knew that I wasn't doing uh, oh, the train tracks. Um, oh, this is going to be the one with all the ums. That I wasn't going to be doing a floss tube or a vlog because I had one day. It had to be Thursday because I was like, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't record Friday. But anywho. So... Because this weekend was supposed to be whip frenzy. Um, and you know, my whole new plans of my whole new thing of having a different 
projects for the weekend and all this. I was so excited and I went to go put a hoop on and my arthritis was so bad in my hand Turn right on that Road. I couldn't put a hoop on. And I was like, well, you know, I did put all those projects, all my weekday projects in hoops. So why don't I just work on what I was supposed to work on all throughout the week now instead? So that's what I did. So are you ready? Because it's a list. It's a list and a half. So Saturday, I put in 400 stitches into vegetable. 606 stitches into ding dong 604 stitches into garden and then yesterday I did 601 stitches in the Irish knot did it get me very far no it did not oh my goodness I was thinking oh yeah I'm gonna stitch all day well, after doing, okay, hold on, I'm going to Okay, so mind you, I got up at 9.30 yesterday after going to bed at, I think it was like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning because I did not want to stop stitching. <laughs> um... And I think because I stitched so much. Okay, I gotta find a way out. Um, I don't know what that is. Okay, this might take me to something. Um, yeah, I think I can get out onto um, Grossbeck Highway. I think right up there will take me to Grosbeck. Oh, kind of-ish. Okay, so any... Oh, I know where I'm at. Okay. So I went to middle school for a year over there. So I think... Yeah, I can see Grosbeck right there. Okay. Um just gotta find out if there's an exit. It looks like there is. So anywho, I got up at 9.30 and I was like, okay, I am going to sit here and play on my phone until 10 o'clock. Because I knew I had to get out of my chair and take a shower by 10 o'clock so I could get the corned beef and all that in the crock pot by 10.30. So, I did that, and then I'm like, okay, before I even touch any stitching, I need to update all my games, because when I do a whole bunch of stitching, the only one I had to update every time I stitched on it was um, Hell's Kitchen. Or stitching, or whatever you want to call it. Um, because with that group, you're not allowed to um, post a picture, then post your finish. You have to have the right amount of time that you stitched. So I know I can, on most things, I can stitch a hundred, no, yeah, a hundred stitches in about twenty five to um well 23 to 30 minutes so oh i gotta sneeze oh it's tickling so i mean there are some times where i'm like i don't feel like posting i am just going to keep stitching take my pictures and then the next day i put a timer 24 minutes post 24 minutes post um, which I think is quite ridiculous. But when I, and then I, I only took pictures at 200th because it was 200 for, um, 
a spin. So we were working on spins for this event to get us things that we buy recipes and boost cards and stuff like that. So, all my other games, I'm like, I'm not updating those. Because, first of all, there's no point on some of these games. Because, like Harry Potter, it's what I do throughout the night. So that's easy. In the morning, I post what I do. Or sometimes I wait a couple of days and then just post everything right then. Um, the road trip in Stitching Sisters group, I think is what it's called. Um, we're doing the United States. So I save all those and then just post. Bam, 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 bam. Which doing it in 200s can screw me sometimes but I don't care because that is supposed to last a year um I started a month late and I feel like I'm halfway through it already so I will probably be done with it in July maybe August so who cares if I I'm only supposed to post 300 and I post 500 you know the 200 stitches who cares but in other games it makes a big deal because you're stitching for items or product or recipes or whatever you know okay anywho so the only game last night or this weekend that I had to post every single time was for health stitching so Sunday after I got the crock pot in I'm like okay let me post all my pictures and get everything organized which it was a good thing I did because in with Warriors Road Trip um, last yesterday or it was probably the day before I hate the time change um, they're in Australia we're here they say by whatever and it's like but you're a day ahead so technically it was my Sunday but it was their Monday whatever so the big ship was coming or something so I climbed aboard and <laughs> within an hour I was done because I only had to finish um, one more hundred stitches to be done with that task it was a pop-up whatever so then I was like well you know what because I don't want to get any penalty stitches I'm like, let me go do all my shopping because I'm not going into it. So I had a whole bunch of shopping items. So I'm like, oh, let me just go stitch those. So I stitched a couple of those last night. But anywho, so after I got done with that, well, then I was like, well, now I need to update my calendar, my planner, whatever you want to call it. And then I looked up and it was like 1.30. Um, planner Zoom was done with and I was like because I started seeing people's pictures of their planner I'm like well I'll get to that and then I just posted when I was done and then today this weekend was um, I don't remember which one it was it was Sh Shailene's I forgot what she calls hers so I was in that all weekend too, but it was good to just yesterday, just take the morning and the early afternoon and just get all that stupid stuff, you know, off my plate, get my planner back up to date because I keep a lot of records in there. So, um, I have two places where I'm counting two different types of stitching, AM and PM. I'm not changing it even though I did it I changed it um I'm still keeping those what is it five pieces a record of those stitches on the one um, yearly stitch count that I'm I have going and there was other stuff I had to you know update and stuff like that so then I sat down and I stitched and um 
was going through, oh yeah, that's another thing. Before I sat down and stitch, I was going through my emails of, you know, people who commented on my videos. Because I don't do it every single day. So, I mean, mind you, it was a week since I posted anything, you know. So, um, I saw um, at the cabin commented on one of my floss tubes. And I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, when's the last time I watched at the cabin? I think I had to re-unsubscribe to her and then subscribe back to her because I'm not getting the notifications. And I went on there and I was like, oh my gosh. It was the last time I watched, I was in the middle of her whip parade in 2022. I'm like, what the heck happened? I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I'm like, so I went to just keep stitching, which I knew I was behind on them. I do get behind on them because I like to really binge watch them. And I already knew that I was, you know, almost a year behind on them. I did binge watch a couple of months ago, some of the videos. So then I went to Bobby. Um, I have such a hard time saying her channel name. Pumpkin, pumpkin, primitive pumpkin. Something about a pumpkin and primitive. I don't know which way it goes. I think it's primitive pumpkin. Um, I'm a year behind on hers too. And then I started looking at some others and I'm like, what the hell happened to me? I know what happened to me. It's Murdoch's fault. I started watching the Murdoch trial in January. Which it lasted till what? Well, it was the end of January when I started watching it. I only missed like two days. And then I binged watched those two days. And then every single day, that's all I did. In the car, I listened. And then when I got home, me and John watched it. And that was one trial we did not put on double speed. Um... So then after Murdoch, I'm like, well then, okay, what after Murdoch? Because there weren't really many cases, you know? I know I watched Brooke, Daryl Brooks, but I want to say his was like in November, September. And I was just trying to rack my brain and I was like, oh yeah, that's when we found OP Live. And when we found OP Live, it had already been on for like over six months. What am I doing? I have to go pick up my daughter. I'm heading back to the shop. It's fine. It's 105. She does not come out the door until like 116 and it's a half mile that way. So it's no big deal. So um ha huh. what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we had six months of OP Live to watch, which it's two episodes a week. It works out to be, I want to say, two two hours and like, I don't know, 32 minutes, something like that. They're on for three hours if you watch them live, but... I have Peacock, no commercials. So we wait until the day after to watch it with no commercials because yeah, I'm not watching commercials, but we were six months. I think we were more like eight months behind when I found it. So we had, what was, what would that be? Four times. No. two and a half and two and a half would be seven, let's say, seven times four times eight. That's a lot of hours. All we did was watch OP Live. And at work, um, I got to the point where um, I was just listening to books. I wasn't even listening to Floss Tube. 
because it would get too distracting and I would look down and I didn't feel that was safe. So I went to listening to audiobooks or if there was a court case, um, because I watched some little ones in there, but I just can't remember. Um, I don't know, go back and watch the vlogs. I talked about, I talk about everything I watch and don't watch and, I mean, watch, oh my God, forget it. I can't think. So anyways, so then, um, oh God, I'm going to sneeze. So I went back and I'm going to sneeze. I know I'm going to sneeze. Oh shoot. I thought he was coming in my lane. Um, so I went back and I put all of Stitching at the Cabins in a list. I do playlists. So, Stitching in the Cabin, then Bobby's videos, and then I updated, because I always have a Just Keep Stitching um, playlist that I just add in. Um, I want to say there was one more, but it's slipping my mind. Sammy J. Yeah. So there are certain people that I'm not behind, like Shailene. Well, you know, when I say that I watch the people, I watch the people. So I am a, a little bit, I don't know why I stopped. I don't have the stop sign. Um, I'm a little bit behind on Yorkshire Crafter. Um, it's because her videos are so low that I have to play it on my TV with the surround sound. And, what are you doing? Um, or I have to do headphones. And sometimes even the surround sound isn't loud enough. So I have to, John can't be home when I'm watching her or Becca because they're too noisy. And Toby's running in and out when they're home. Unless it gets real quiet in the house, then I can put her on. Um, ooh, that squirrel almost got hit. So there's a couple that I'm like up to date, up to date, but not up to date. So then um I got those playlists set up. And I know now I'm calling it this weekend starting Thursday because um, the TV shows we watched, we caught up on, well, it's the season's over now, but we watched the what villains, house of villains. That's what it was called. We watched the house of villains and then we watched, um, We're caught up with the UK traders. Um, the US traders ended too. That was basically our Thursday night was watching those. I think the UK we watched on Friday. Some. But then... Um, Hulu. I was like, okay, how many more days do I have till Hulu? And then I just decided to renew my Hulu. So I wanted to catch up on 911. I'm still, I think, a season and a half now behind because the new one just started Thursday. Um,. And then, of course, I want to watch um, Grey's Anatomy, Station 911. Um, I don't even know if The Good Doctor and... Oh, God. It's a hospital in New York City. I can't think of what it's called. 
the guy from Blacklist, the husband, he's on it. Amsterdam? I want to say it's Amsterdam. So there was a couple of shows that I wanted to start watching again. Um, I need shows when John's, that me and John don't watch together. We don't watch the good doctor. <laughs> I was going to say the good wife. I'm like, no, that ended and we watched that together. Um, so, you know, it was, it's stuff like that, you know, I should be programming while I'm sitting out here. Right. Yeah. So, but Danielle got me on to a show this weekend. John will pop in and watch it, but he's not like sitting there and like, don't watch it without me. Cause there's a lot of shows that I don't watch without him because he likes them. But I started wrong side of the track and I think it was, um, how do you say this? It was filmed with Spanish people, Spanish speaking people. And they, what is that called when they voiceover? That's what it's called. They voiceovered. So <laughs> I think that's why John, I mean, John would like it if it wasn't for the voiceover because they'll still be talking and then their lips stop or, you know, it's like, it just, I just look past it. I'm stitching basically. I don't watch their lips now before. Oh, that would have drove me crazy. But, um, yeah, so that was basically my weekend. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, yeah, which I won't get a lot of stitching done this week because I have Becca's taxes, my taxes, Jonathan's taxes, Renee's taxes, and... Sandy's daughter's taxes to do and I promised I would do them all this week so I was supposed to do them last week but there was no way me trying to concentrate doing taxes being in pain I couldn't even stitch and I kept telling John I said you gotta know how bad I am I'm not stitching you know so okay guys I'm going to get off of here and I will see you in the next one. Hello, it is Tuesday, Tuesday. So, yesterday, after I got off, it just got even worse. <laughs> um, got back to the shop and there were eight more, 10 more. It was ridiculous. I was like, what the heck happened? And they're like, it exploded. <laughs> I'm like, Apparently, so thank goodness they they um when they all came over they worked on the far away ones first because Warren and Roseville are very easy to do but I had um six Warrens three um Rosevilles and a Clinton Township. So what is that? Six. Oh, ten. Okay. So, yeah. So, I picked up Becca from work. We went back to the shop. We picked up um, the Clinton Township. And there was one other one. Oh, I had a school that I still had on me. So... We ran and did those, and then when we got back to the shop, thank God, everything was made. So we shoved them all in the car. Not really, but, you know, we put them in the car, and off we went. And I didn't get home until 4.30, I want to say it was. Yeah, I think we were done by 4, and I got home at 4.30. And then we were exhausted. I did 30 deliveries by myself yesterday. And they weren't all funerals. And like where John did 
30 something the other day. And he was home by one o'clock. I'm like, what the hell? But when they're all funerals, I mean, it's just, you go to the place and you just dump them all. Of course he had multiple funeral homes to go to, but anyways. So I got home and I was like, John was, sorry, I keep yawning. Um, John was taking a nap and we were supposed to have leftovers last night. And I'm like, you know what? Nobody wants to deal with that tonight. So I told him, I said, just order a large pizza. We went cheap. So we went Domino's and oh, I don't know. I just don't like Domino's. Their sauce is so spicy to me. Not hot like um, like there's jalapenos in it. It's just I don't know. It's a different hot. Maybe it is. I don't know. All I know is a I have to have ranch with it to counteract the spiciness. I guess it is. But it's, it doesn't taste like jalapenos. It tastes nasty. So I did that. And then Becca asked me to dye her hair. So I dyed her hair. And then I was like... I put on... Um, oh, I found this. Oh, my gosh. Um, What are they called? The, I guess it would be Law TV. I don't know. Trial TV. Or trial Tube. Not TV. Tube. Um, on YouTube, there's, you know, places that you can go to watch trials. And I used to like Emily D. Baker. But now I'm finding she's just too much. And I don't know. It makes me like, bleh, when she's like, and we're number one right now. It's like, who cares? She's always, like, competing, and I don't know. That just turns me off. But it used to be where she would pause and talk and not talk over the lawyers or the person testifying or whatever. And now it just seems like all she does is talk over, and then she'll rewind it, and it's like, why didn't you just pause? And to me, it feels like she's being – she's just – her, be her head got too big. Basically, her head got too big and she don't think her shit stinks and that's it. But, I found a new person to watch and I'm loving it. It's called, you know, I'm bad with names. Um, Recovery Attic. Yes, because it's RA. Um, he doesn't talk over the trial. He will talk like when there's, or he'll pause. But what I really like is, you know, he's got his chat going. And if they ask a question, it's kind of cool how their, um, it's like their chat knows how to ans ask questions because, like, okay, one of the questions was, um, is this a half jury or a full jury? And he'll highlight half or full, which he thought it was a full, but it really was a half. And he was like, oh, this is a half. It was funny. Dwell to me. But I just, I like his energy. And I just, I like him. So, um. I started, well, I've, okay, I started, I found him through the Russ trial because I just, I've had it with her. I needed to find someone else. I was even watching um, the recap with, oh God, I'm so bad with names. He's in Canada. He's a gun person. Um, Rumple? Rumpel? I think it's his name. Oh, people are probably screaming at me right now. But I even started watching him. 
which I mean, don't get me wrong, I like him, but I like watching the trial. I, well, I can't say when it's going on, but it was just like this was already bad in the first place because it was I want to say mountain time, and that meant that the court would end at like 7.30 my time at night and then to watch his recap I would, that's why I'm off my schedule. I was wondering why I'm going to bed so late now. It's because of that trial. Because um yeah, I'd be up to like one o'clock in the morning watching the damn trial. Ooh. So, yeah. But I really like this guy. And so, um, after Russ stopped, oh, I know what it was. So then, right after Russ stopped, I watched, um, the dad from Oxford, his trial. Well, uh, R.A. didn't cover that. He covered the mom's trial. So, he was doing another trial. So, I was, like, behind. And... Don't stop yawning. Um. Anywho. I had three days to watch. So... After I um, dyed Becca's hair, I was like, okay, I'm just going to turn on the trial. And I had the lights off and everything, which I already knew. I knew I was going to take a nap. <laughs> I fell right asleep. Well, not right asleep. Because then John came out. And oh, while we were eating dinner, that's where he got into it. Um, so we were watching the trial then I fell asleep and I was like just went to the closing arguments and watched the closing arguments and then I watched oh my gosh I got something in my eye watched the verdict he was found out guilty I think he should have been guilty he gave no commands. Oh, this is, um, I think it was Connecticut. The, um, police officer, trooper, I don't know what he was. Um, I watched the body cam footage. He gave no commands to the guy whatsoever. So he was bipolar, schizophrenic. And I think he was like 19, 20 years old. The person that was murdered. Um, and he was newly diagnosed. And he had an episode. And um, the cop just didn't give any commands and just shot him. It was like, are you kidding me? I was very disappointed that they came back not guilty. I didn't think he needed to be guilty on the the manslaughter, but they gave him two other, the jury, two other less guilty things. And they were like, nope. He's not guilty. And it was like, what? He was guilty of something because he reacted too fast. He didn't all right, whatever, I'm not going to get into the whole thing. But I was just like, what? So after we were done with that, we had two um, OP lives to watch. So I started watching that. And then I thought, okay, I need to get some stitches in today. So I did 200 stitches in, um, what's it called? Blah, blah, blah. Hogwarts Express. 
So, the one that I had to frog the, I was going to say the thinking cap, the sorting hat, and the broom, and I think the M2. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, so, um, I only put 200 stitches in it. I got quite a bit of the sorting hat done. I just have the brim of the hat now. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, oh yesterday my, um, my hoops from Amazon came in. I will definitely be buying these again. These are now my favorite hoop. It has such a nice, um, I don't know what it's called. So the one part has a, a, a very high bridge and the other one has, um, the sinkhole is the best way I can explain it. It gets, it's so tight. You put it in and it's just like, my tension is perfect. And for me, I need the tension to be tight. So when I push the needle through, I want to hear that thread going through basically. So anywho, God, I'm just like, I'm still trying to wake up if you can't tell. Which, oh my gosh, they're being needy today. So, thank goodness that I already planned on being there early because Becca had to work today from nine to one. So, right when I'm stepping in the shower, I get a text message, you have a by nine o'clock. It's 8.10. I was like, okay, whatever. So, I take my shower, get dressed, leave the house, um, and on the way to taking Becca to work, we jump, we stop by the, I almost said stop by the house, stop by my work, grab the package, and then, well, not package, grab the funeral home, the vase, whatever you want to call it, and then... I dropped her off and I just, that's what I paused to go do that, right? As I'm getting back in the car, they call me again. It's like, hey, we got someone on the phone wanting to know if you can get a business to the worst Sterling Heights, the farthest Sterling Heights by noon. It's nine o'clock now. I said, well, that depends on if you can make it by then. And she's like, what? I said, as soon as you make it, I can take it out there. So it just depends on when you plan on making it. Oh, yeah, that was that. Yeah, yeah. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Yes, I can do a by noon. It just, I just want to choke someone. It's one of those days already, but I got to be in a good mood. So after I put the 200 stitches in, now mind you, it's 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, I think it was 10 o'clock. Might have been a little after 10 o'clock. I was like, I knew I was going to stay up till at least 11. And I'm like, man... I really don't want to put in another, put in more stitches because it's not going to be 200. And that would mean then tonight I would have to go home and finish off to make it 200 because I'm, we're still spinning for gold. So each spin is $200, $200, 200 stitches. So, I'm not wasting my stitches on this game. It's got to be 200 and that's it. 200, that's it. 200, that's it. 
So I was like, okay, I'm not doing that. So today is the first day of spring. So me and Deanne plan on starting, I want to say it's called Flower Crazy or Craze, something like that. Um, I want to say it's Carolyn Manning. You know me and names. No, Carolyn Manning. Is that it? Carol Is that it? Or am I thinking of the real housewives? You know that designer that everyone goes crazy about? I've never started one of hers. But I've been wanting to start one of hers. So, um, I saw this one. I'm like, oh yes, this is going to be it. This is the one I'm starting. So then DM was like, well, you want to start it together? And I'm like, okay. And anyone else is welcome. So I was like, you know what? I, I mean, when Amazon, this is how tired I was when I got home. When Amazon came, I didn't even open up the package. So I'm like, okay, let me first open up the package and see, you know, how these hoops are. And then I'm like, I'm going to go um, find, figure out, you know, it's a, it's one of those, I feel like Carolyn Manning is wrong, but it's one of those. It's full of coverage. So really, I only need a white piece of fabric, right? And she says to do it on a black fabric. No, I'm not torturing myself or recommended is black fabric. No. So... Um, I went in the back and I found an easy grid that will fit it perfectly. Um, so I, I think I was supposed to have a 18 by 19 and I think this one was like 19 and a half by 21 or something like that. I'm like, you know, what? I'm not even cutting this. It's just going to. And just put it in the hoop. So, with John's help, because my arthritis in my hand is still killing me, which I know it's the weather. Um, so, I did that. We did that. Even with the two of us, it was like a struggle. Because this easy grid is... Um, not soft it's not stiff 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 but it's not you know after I work with it for a little bit it'll loosen up but to put it in a hoop it was a struggle so I got that in there and then I'm like looking at the pattern I'm like well you know what I'm gonna make it easy on myself because lately I've been just you I went to um pick a color put it back, search for the other one, pick a color, put it back, you know, I was like, you know what, no, tomorrow night, I wanted to get a lot of progress on this, um, so right when I get home, I'm ready to sit down and just stitch, so I think I pulled eight colors, and oh my gosh, when I was pulling the colors, I'm like, oh my God, I love this color. Oh my God, this is going to be beautiful. Look at this color with this color. So it definitely has a spring vibe to it for sure. I'm super excited. And then um, I went to bed and I'm like, you know what? I want to listen to, I've been reading the, I think it's the Winston Brothers um, the books are like bear beard with me. It's all about beard because all the brothers are, um, ginger and have beards. And then there's one sister. So I was like, you know what? I had just finished book, I think it was five. So I went to Goodreads to see, you know, what is the next book. And 
man, it's cold in here. I just turned on the heat and I got a blast of cold air first. Now it's warming up. Um, so I was looking and I'm like, oh, there was a 3.5 book. And so um, I went to go read like the reviews to see, well, because the one packet of books that I got there were it was I want to say one through three or one through four they just put all the audiobooks in one download so I was like okay well I want to read about you know who this is about and I was getting nothing and just people saying, oh, I wish it wasn't so short and, or where can I find this? And there was a link. And so I followed the link and it was, it was a very short, short story. So I haven't done that in years, but I sat there in my chair, literally reading a book. I was like. John comes in and it was in a really good part. He's like, he said something and I like, I didn't mean to like snap at him, but I guess I was like, oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> he said, love you. I said, love you too. <laughs> He's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm reading. He's like, you don't have to be so snappy about it. I'm like, it was a good I just wanted to say I love you fast, you know. Like, oh my God, just stop. He was in a crabby mood all day yesterday. Well, not all day, but ever since we got home, he was like in a crabby ass mood. I don't think his nap went well or he should have napped longer. So, but oh my God, it was so short. And it like left you hanging. I'm like, uh, uh. So then I found the next two books. And I started reading one. And then the next thing I know, I was like, okay. I can't keep my eyes open. And I had to get up early. And it was like 1230 at night. Maybe even more like 1 o'clock. I don't remember. So I'm like, I'm just, don't torture yourself. Because the night before, even though I still had to get up early, I stayed up till 3 a.m. And it was like, we are not doing this to ourselves today, Becky. So I went to bed and then woke up to, well, not woke up to, but as I was getting up to go in the shower, got that text. But today has to be a good day because I'm starting that new start flower craze I think it's flower crazy I don't know so okay I guess I'm gonna get off of here I rambled I vented um yeah all the fun things what was cool though is our favorite person one of our favorite people um from OP live came back Saturday night so we started watching we finished Friday night and then we started watching Saturday night and then me and John were like well let's just go to bed so she had a baby so she just came back from maternity leave which I didn't realize that the baby daddies was uh on the show too <laughs> so that was kind of cool which I still think she should have been with Dylan I love Dylan and John's like um they were chasing a car or something like that and he's like oh I think that's Danny on the radio I'm like uh right state 
wrong county. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm like, yeah. Okay, I'm getting off of here. I'm back. Oh, God, I have done and over today. Great. So, um, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, it is Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. A very cold Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. <clears throat> so work was crazy again last night, or yesterday, not last night. <clears throat> Didn't get home until after 4 o'clock. Um, I came home, I'm like, John, because he's on call the whole week, just like I'm on call the whole week. But I try to give him Monday and Tuesdays off. I only call him in if I am like, desperate and then he's um on call for Wednesday well the last couple of Wednesdays like last Wednesday we had 42 deliveries and the Wednesday before that we had um I think 35 so for I want to say for at least a month and a half Wednesdays have been like crazy so when I came home I already had 16 deliveries for tomorrow. I told him, listen, <laughs> you're always on call on Wednesday, but be prepared. You're probably going to get called in. So, um, I didn't have to take Becca first thing in the morning. So I got to sleep in a little, just an hour, but that hour makes a big difference. And um, I went to go get in the shower, and John had already been in the shower. So I didn't say anything, you know? But then I was like, okay. So when I got out of the shower, he was in his car. And if you can see, he's right there. So he's actually working today, which will make today a lot smoother. And hopefully, I just want to be home by 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock would be awesome. But, what did I stitch on last night? It is called Flower Crazy. It is by Carolyn Manning. And I did 606 stitches on it. So, I was very pleased with my progress last night. Um, a lot of that progress was done at work while I was waiting for my orders. Um, I did the border. So, because there's this, I want to call it like a fuchsia. It's beautiful. I think it's nine, nine something. I want to say 918, but I don't, I don't know. Um, so I did that. And then when I got home, I asked John to help me move the hoop so I could put the border right next to the um, hoop so I could get a um, hundred more stitches going horizontal. And I think it was 200 more stitches going vertical because I bought this hoop just for this project. It's not coming out of the hoop. So I wanted the whole border done in the hoop that I was working on. And with this pattern, it is so much fun. I just take I can't even call it a motif. Is it a motif? I don't know. A pattern. God, my nose is like red and like twitching. Like I gotta sneeze. Um. So I started to do like there was like these blue lines that were like borders in it. So I did those. And I was like, oh, well, there's a little triangle over here. So I did the little triangle. And then basically what's happening is I'm going from the top. And the first color, I'm like working it through. 
you know, me and my color blocking. <laughs> Not color blocking. Um, cross, cross country stitching. I just realized that's what I'm doing. But I'm not doing it. So, like, the triangle, there were these light, light, light purple, white purple stitches. Well, there's some splattered, like, at the bottom of my hoop. But I didn't want to count that far and... I really like to put the darker color in first, then do the light color. So that's why I didn't go extreme cross country with that. And I'm kind of wanting to stay in like the little pattern block. So then I went to this other one that was like um, diagonal, a diagonal um, pattern. I'm loving it. I feel like I'm just skipping all over the place. Sorry, my nose was uh, twitching. So I snorted. Um, what else? That's about it. We watched, we finished up OP Live. finished up OP Live and then we went to bed because we had such a late start. When I got home, John went back in the train room while dinner was being made. So there was no watching TV then. I was watching random a rabbit hole. Random um what are they called? This Karen steals packages. And then this Karen gets in fights or something. It's like, I watched all these Karen videos. Um. Yeah, so I was just like flipping around YouTube. That's about it. My plan today is I'm still going to work on Flower Craze. I like to give a new start at least two days. Usually two days in a row and then put it up. This one will be added to weekend stitches because when I want to work on this, I want to be able to pull it out. So, that's about it. Gas prices are still crazy. I mean, at least they came down 30 cents. Monday was like outrageous. 3.75 I think I saw. Most places, which I was so glad on I think it was on Friday, Friday morning before the prices went sky high, I filled up and I have to fill up today. So I let I made this gas tank last. Oh no. Oh good. The mailman likes to, oh don't do it, don't do it. I'm going to go up ahead of you. <clears throat> likes to park in my spot. <clears throat> way up because Johnny's behind me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. It is Thursday, Thursday. I have my weeks all mixed, my days all mixed up. All day yesterday I was thinking it was Thursday and then when I was ready to go to bed I was thinking okay one more day and something made me look at my phone and it said Thursday, I'm like, a uh, Wednesday. And I'm like, what? Today's Wednesday? I forgot, I called in John, so that's why it felt like Thursday, because John usually works Thursday and Friday. So, that was my confusion. Oh, my nose. So, um, I 
yesterday was a crazy day. Thank God John came in. Or I would have been working until at least 6 o'clock. Um, I think I got home at 4 o'clock. Something like that. Um, it was funny. Me and John arrived both at the same time at 4 o'clock. Around 4 o'clock. It wasn't like on the nose. It might have even been 3.45. I don't know. Was it paying too close attention? I knew it was after 3 o'clock. And very close to four o'clock. What does this matter? I don't know. I'm just rambling. Um, so, <clears throat> but it was stress. That's the thing. It's okay when there's lots of orders, but it's the, the stress of them not being ready, having times that you have to make, but waiting for them to make them so you can get there on time. And it's just, it's just a lot of stress. Um, so I came home and me and John took a nap. Um, I was going to make, uh, what is it called? It's homemade Alfredo sauce. Um, and use pente, pente? noodles and they cut up some sausage I saw Sam the cooking guy made it while I was looking through all of his old all of his videos I don't know when he made it and when it was you know but I saw it the other day and I was like ooh that looks good and what was it last year Jonathan taught me how to make an Alfredo sauce so or maybe it was two years ago I think it was last year, at the beginning, like January of last year. Um, yeah, because he just had broken up with his girlfriend. And he didn't have his driver's license yet, so we were still driving him back and forth. And for some reason, he had to come to our house and he, he was making it at my house. I don't know why. Cause he didn't make it for us it was really strange I don't I can't remember now back then it was like oh that makes sense I don't know I hate when I can't remember things so anyways um, I forgot to get the Parmesan you can't make Alfredo sauce without Parmesan so I told Becca I said it's an easy night you're cooking we can have um, spaghetti and meatballs you know chef for D or ravioli I choose ravioli this time. I usually have spaghetti and meatballs with her. But I wanted some raviolis. So, I had that for dinner. And then I finally got to sit down and stitch. I mean, I guess I, if I didn't take a nap, I could have stitched longer probably. But I needed a nap. All that stress. So, <clears throat> I'm very froggy today. Sorry. I must have been snoring bad last night. So I put in, I think it was 600 stitches even, into um, Flower Crazy. And <clears throat> I'm really thinking about giving it one more night. I know I usually only give it two, but I'm really enjoying this. So it's going to get one more night of stitching. It's relaxing. Oh my gosh, it's so relaxing. There's a lot of counting, but it's easy counting. You know, it's like do four skip, do or do a block of four skip, do a block of four skip, do a block of score of four of. Oh my god, can't say that three times fast. I tried. So yeah, it's been really fun. Um, and I like that I can just go wherever I want. I'm like, oh, let's go this way with it now. I'm not just following the pattern straight down because I don't think that's fun. Yep, and so then wasn't in the mood to watch any TV shows, which tonight will be the TV shows. Tonight will be Below Deck, the UK Traders, It might have been 
been released sometime this week. Uh, deal or No Deal Island. I don't know when that episode is released because that was another one that I caught up that I thought I had many, many episodes. I feel like there's one more. Oh, Survivor! Yeah, so... I don't know if I'm going to let them go a couple of weeks so I can watch... I like to watch a minimum of three together. So I know definitely today will be UK Traders will be tomorrow. Well, if it gets released early enough. Because they seem to release three at a time. So. <clears throat> or who knows? I might just be, I'm sucked into YouTube again. I told you I found that new person. New to me. He's been on there for, it looks like a couple of years. Um, sad thing is, is though he's taken down a lot of his videos. So I can't see like his very beginning videos, which is fine, but, um, I made a whole playlist, so I'm watching those, and I kind of really like watching YouTube, because I like to watch it on most, um, floss tubers I watch on two times speed. Court cases... It's 1.75, or sometimes I have to go to 150. But still, I get to speed it up. Um, I'm saying um a lot, I'm sorry. And gas still hasn't moved. So, I watched a lot of that last night, especially because I was on, I mostly could stay on 1.75. Then, of course, I had two videos that I had to catch up. Well, today's and yesterday's. Well, it would have been that day and the day before um, of Shaleen's. Gotta catch up on Yorkshire Crafter, too. I think I'm a couple behind on that, too. I'm telling you, it's these damn court cases. And my dumbass... And I had a feeling, too. I was watching Stitching at the Cabin, right? And I'm like, like I said, I'm over a year behind, right? So Saturday, sun, Sunday night, I watched, I want to say, five, maybe six episodes. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if she's pregnant again. You know, I just had that in my head. The little, oh, it kind of... I bet you pretty soon we're going to be announcing that she's pregnant, right? So, <clears throat> I went on, yesterday I went on my um, notifications and saw, oh, she just put up a video. Now, who knows? It could have been two days ago. I don't know about your YouTube. My YouTube is telling me like a day late. It's really annoying. I don't know why. But anywho. I turn it on and I hear that she's 33 weeks pregnant. I'm like, oh, oh, and I stopped it right away. So I'm like, I knew it. And now I just spoiled it for myself. Yeah, yeah, I'm crazy that way. But I have a lot of people to catch up on. But there's some things that you just need to listen to a court case. So, yeah, I'm battling with TV shows, floss tube, and trials. Okay, I'm getting off of here. That's all I have to update. So, I will see you in the next one. Hello! It is Friday, 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 Friday. Okay. This is how many takes now? Four? Five? I don't know. First, it was... First thing in the morning, it was a blizzard. And it was a bunch of um, um, um... Oh my god, oh my god, um, um... <laughs> Then the second one, it stopped snowing, but it was nothing but slushy roads, and that wasn't good. And then the third one, oh, you didn't say hi. Hello. Becca's in the car. Tiny puffer fish. Yeah. Um, second one, what, Becca? I couldn't even get my words out. It was like, 
I was struggling big time. Yes. And then the delivery came out of the blue and it was on a busy street and it was just like, okay, I just need to stop, collect my thoughts and try this again. So last night, nothing happened. Didn't get home until after, well, I think it was right before five o'clock. It was another bad day. It was stressful. And I came home, took a nap. And that's what's been happening every day this week. If you've watched all the clips, each night it feels like I'm saying, I didn't get a oh, look at the husky going crazy. You guys can't see it. I can't put it over there. But it's a, it's, you can tell he's a baby. And he's going to the vet. <laughs> and he doesn't want to go in that door. <laughs> so, um, anywho, I'm just sick of saying it's busy. I didn't get much stitching done, blah, blah, blah. So, but I've been getting up after my nap, eating dinner, and then stitching. But last night I had a migraine and I just, I couldn't do it. And then I was like kicking myself for not doing it. Um, so yeah. So I've decided until probably after Easter, because what, Easter's next week, right? Yes. So then we have to deal with all that BS of Easter. I think I'm just gonna wait until April and come back. So this is gonna be your last vlog until I don't know when. Sorry, I know I promised you a floss tube on. Ooh, can't do that. Okay, I will go ahead of you and do this. Um, what was I saying? You promised a floss tube on Monday. That's not gonna happen. Um, I gotta step back. I'm burnt out. I lost my stitchy bug. And it's feeling more of a job than a pleasure right now. I know I did it to myself. I know it's my own fault. But I really think I just need to unplug from the internet totally. No Facebook, no Zooms, no nothing. I just need to step back get my house organized I need to just get a lot of stuff done I have so many taxes I have to do and the thing is well yeah I could do a floss tube but then I'd have to pick new projects and I have all these projects that are on hoops and I bet you it's that over there isn't it remember how it's always over there yep um What's the address here? They never show the address. Yep, this is eight. This is a thousand. So I bet you it's the second building. Um, I know. I'm. I see, and I'm scattered brain. I don't feel like I can get. Can I go through there? No, let's not try it. Um, I can't get a thought straight. A thought, a straight thought. What am I trying to say back? A straight thought out. Yeah, it's like I'm sick of being a babbling buffoon. buffoon. <laughs> I mean, I know I laugh at myself, but it's just ridiculous. It is. And it's because I'm just too stressed. And we had a scare with Toby. With Sobe. Toby. Words okay, maybe if I take a drink, yeah. We had a scare with Toby where he wasn't feeling good. Yep, Go ahead, he uh pulled a we're thinking he pulled a muscle his back, right or left hind leg. I don't know, it was one of them, and he's perfectly fine now. He's jumping around, he's our little rabbit again. Okay, I can't read what this says. 
What is the address that we're trying to go to? 7008. I, this doesn't make sense to me. We were just there and... Turn left, then take the first right. Okay, we're gonna come back because we gotta find out where we're supposed okay, to be. So a half an hour later and some BS bullshit. Oh, I can't. I can't with people. They didn't give me an address. I was searching or like you guys saw. Gave me a bad phone number, bad address, but finally in the end it all worked out. Okay, so I think I was talking about why I'm not going to do a floss tube on Monday. It's because I already have a whole bunch of whips in hoops that I haven't gotten to. And I don't feel like taking those out of the hoops. Next time I won't put so many in hoops when I do this. And I think... I actually changed my plans or maybe not I don't even remember now I don't know why I put all these hoops in projects in hoops so when I get those all worked on then I will come back and do floss tubes and go back to picking and all that fun stuff but for right now I am burnt out totally just mentally burnt out I would just talk was talking to John on the phone I'm like I feel like it was, it's been a Mother's Day holiday and I've worked 16 days in a row and am having a mental breakdown. I feel like I'm just going to burst in tears. So, and two, I'm upset because um, I think it was today or last night. I don't remember which one. Danielle posted a picture of her vintage flag. We're doing it on the same fabric and you can't see the white. And I was thinking about little, then maybe, ooh, that was a big pothole. Maybe I could, um, like when it says red, when it's supposed to be a red, do the red where it's supposed to be and then put the white behind it and where it's supposed to be white do the white and then put the red behind it but I think that will look ridiculous even though it is red white red white red white it's not really and I can't even afford to buy a freaking piece of fabric that big right now so I don't know I'm just like I'm stressed. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. And I just need to be able to just step away from everything and just not have any pressures except for work. You know? I mean, laundry. <laughs> Which, I mean... That's so stupid. John's been doing my laundry for me. I didn't ask him. But one thing that will make me mad if you do my laundry and then just throw it in the chair and it gets all wrinkly. If you're going to wash the laundry, be prepared to fold the laundry right when it's done. So that's not helping me. Right? right. I know, I'm just bitching now. So I don't know when I'm coming back on. I'm okay. I'm going to be okay. I have my biggest supporter sitting right here next to me. But she agrees that I need to just step back and not worry about my channel or my stitching right now. Correct. She says, correct. You're so quiet today. <laughs> Still recovering from falling on She's, my ass. It's been a bad day. She's falling because it's really slushy and it's slippery. She fell on her butt, but she saved the flowers. Once again, she saved the flowers. You can't like three months when it comes to that. 
Yeah, it would say it louder. Got weird cat like reflexes when it comes to that. But not landing on my pants. <laughs> instead of landing on her feet, she lands on. Did you just say your fat ass? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's plump so it doesn't hurt as bad. And I know that's a lie. <laughs> she just gave me the death stare. Uh, dude, do you not see me? So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to get off of here. I will see you when I see you. Don't worry about me. I am fine. I will be fine. I just need to take a break. And every so often, we all need to just take a break. So, okay, guys. Bye.